Hey, thanks for tuning in. I was actually out at uh, one of my builder's projects today and they were getting ready to pour a concrete slab foundation. And I was able to shoot some uh, video footage of it before the concrete gets there and kind of explain what's going on under there. So check it out, hope you learned something. Hey, thanks for tuning in, staying with us. This is actually a what a slab looks like before the concrete pour happens. So I'll walk you around here and show you kind of some of the different in, ins and outs of it. Um, the lumber around the outside, that's the form boards when they pour the concrete in there, that's what holds it up. Um, keeps it from running out all over everywhere. Walk you up here. And you can kind of see these trenches, there's one there. There's one there. And then you see them kind of going all the way across. Those are actually, they're called beams. And that's just around the outside and around the middle, it's just to provide extra strength uh, for that slab and the weight of the house to sit on. They're probably about two feet deep on this one. Uh, we have a really low frost line here. It doesn't get that cold, so don't really have to go down that far. And this is natural soil, so they did not have to peer this one. Um, a lot of times on houses where there's lots of fill or really crazy looking soil, they'll come in and actually drill pier holes down to the bedrock and then this slab and beam sits on top of those. So that's that. Um, the next thing that you'll see are these little cables right here and they will eventually be, the actual concrete slab will be right here. So once it's cured a little bit, they'll come in and tighten these up and, and that helps to stabilize and, and um, keep the slab from cracking. And you'll see they go crisscross pattern north to south, east to west. And the plastic on here is a vapor barrier. It's just to keep the moisture that's in the slab from um, seeping down into the soil. It's another way to kind of help stabilize the soil underneath. Then of course you've got the plumbing um, that comes up through everything. You'll see the different stub outs there. There's one down there in the middle, that's where the water comes through in one place. They use the special piping now. They don't use copper and slabs anymore. So it just comes in in one place and it'll feed the whole house from there. And this is where, where the sewer line will be one day. 